Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, so in the prayer at my school, either I lead or my friend does. My friend has memorized more Quran than me, but he is Shia. He has also said words that imply that Aisha radiyatala anha is a munafik. He said that um, only munafiks hate Ali, and then he was arguing that Aisha hates Ali. And then I confronted him, do you believe Aisha is a munafik? And he said, and he denied such. He has also tried to spread his Shia beliefs publicly, and I worry that he one day might give a khutbah trying to spread such beliefs. Am I obligated to oppose him and to try and be the imam myself or someone else, even though he, he has memorized more Quran than me? I don't want to be arrogant. What should I tell the others? I don't know. This is something that you're claiming, and if you don't have proof that backs it up, I don't know what, what you should do because maybe you're lying. Maybe he didn't say these things. Maybe you are speculating things. Such beliefs usually become public. If a person holds such a belief, usually everyone around him knows this about it, about him. So you don't have to go out of your way to expose him. Everybody talks that, yes, he said ill things about Mother Aisha. Yes, he's trying to praise Shia and their mullahs and their weird fatwas and their corrupt aqidah. So if this is the case, then the answer would be definitely all those who follow the Quran and the Sunnah must not pray or accept him to pray or lead their prayer, even if he's a hafiz. Someone with such a corrupt Aqeedah that is known to everyone must not be allowed to lead. So you or anyone else could do this and you should um, uh, make people aware of it, inshallah. 